All right, uh, we are moving on to some breaking news coming in. Uh, once again, how the Aghari government seems to be under pressure now. Sharad Pawar, the chief of the Mahavikas Aghari, has called for an emergency meeting. Remember, Sharad Pawar is now in the fray to save Thakre government. In the state, many Shiv Sena MLAs are now not reachable at all. A total of 13 MLAs, including Eknath Shinde in Surat, are now, in fact, uh, not available or not available to receive their calls. All the six Shiv Sena MLAs of Aurangabad now, that is the Aurangabad district, are also not reachable. It's a big blow coming in for the Shiv Sena. And it seems like the Aghari government in the state is now under trouble and possibly there is a fear as far as the number game is concerned because remember, this has been a second such massive victory for the BJP coming in with the support of a lot of independent candidates and smaller parties and also the fear of cross-voting that has also once again been a loss for the Aghadi government. Arunil now joins us on this broadcast. Yes, Arunil, Sharad Pawar now steps in and calling in for that emergency meeting. Well, that is right. The NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar calling, calling in for an emergent meeting at his Silver Oak residence. Who all will be attending this meeting? That will be extremely paramount. We can expect Sanjay Rao to go and attend this meeting. Similarly, at 12 p.m. today, CM Uddhav Thakre has also called in an emergent meeting of all his MLAs. Now you are pointing towards the six MLAs from Aurangabad. They are part of the 13 MLAs who are not traceable. So it's a big jolt for the Shiv Sena, particularly from the Marathwada region uh, of Maharashtra. Six of the MLAs from the Marathwada region have allegedly, have reportedly defected towards uh, the Ekna Shinde camp. There are total 13 MLAs, including who have been staying in this uh, Surat Hotel. Uh, now, if they don't have the two-third of uh, the number that Chipsana party enjoys, uh, then probably they will have to go for re-election. And after getting re-elected, then only they can support uh, the BJP. With respect to the numbers are concerned, uh, BJP has 105 MLAs at present. Uh, and there is Ravi Rana who already supports them, so it becomes 106. And additionally, there are several independents and smaller parties who have given their support uh, to the BJP that was completely evident from the fact uh, that BJP managed to win all the uh, all the three uh, Rajya Sabha uh, 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 seats as well as all the five uh, MLC uh, seats. That, is, that was a resounding victory for De Devendra Padnavis and uh, the BJP. And if there is a faction from the Shiv Sena that defects towards Devendra Padnavis and the BJP, it will be a big, big trouble for the Mahavika Sagadi and particularly for the Shiv Sena and CM Uddhav Thakre. Absolutely, Arunil, because this is not a good news coming in for the Aghadi government. And take our viewers through the number games now. Because these are back-to-back -back wins for the BJP. Once again, first in the Rajya Sabha polls and now in the MLC polls. How would this really impact the number game and whether or not the government will now be at stake? Well, uh, with respect to the number game is concerned, I, I was uh, earlier also pointing out the Shiv Sena has 55 MLAs in the Maharashtra Assembly. They had 56, but one MLA unfortunately passed away recently. So two-third of those MLAs, so m around more than 35 of the MLAs support Ekna Shinde will need to directly break away from the Shiv Sena party. That doesn't look likely at present. So then uh, they will lose their MLA post and a re-election will be held in those constituencies of, of the MLAs that have defected towards the Ekna Shinde camp. And if they manage to win again, then they will definitely give their support to the BJP and Devendra Fadnavis. And that is how uh, the MBA government is going to get into trouble. But yes, there is time for uh, the Mahavika Sagadi leaders. As we know, CM Muddha Thakare calling for a meeting at 12 p.m. Sharad Pawar getting into the fray using all his experience because we had seen a similar kind of thing had happened with Sharad Pawar when Ajit Pawar had joined hands with Devendra Fadnavis and the swearing-in ceremony was held at Raj Bhavan early morning. But Sharad Pawar was managed to pull his all MLS towards the NCP side at that time and it was a huge embarrass for, embarrassment for Devendra Fadnavis during that time. Now, whether Devendra Fadnavis will be able to pull out this entire plan, whether Ekna Shinde will continue to stay with the uh, BJP, has he left the Shiv Sena? Everything will be clear when Ekna Shinde comes out in the open and speaks about it. 
Absolutely, Arunil, because this is not good news for the MB and specifically the Shiv Sena if Eknath Shinde does not attend today's meeting because this will mean that uh, trouble will further mount for them and we saw statement coming in for Devendra Fadnavis who now says that this has now exposed the inbuilt conflict within the MBA. Well, that is right. In fact, all the BJP leaders pointing towards the fact that uh, there is an internal rift, internal factionalism within the Shiv Sena party. They also pointing out that all is not well with the Congress party as well. Because the Congress party had put up two uh, candidates for MLC. One was Chandrakan Handore, who was their first preference candidate. Second one was Bhai Jakkap, who was their second preference candidate. But startlingly, their second preference candidate won. Their first preference candidate lost. Now, Clearly, the Congress MLS did not follow the orders from the party high command because the party high command, were, high command or the orders were that they need to vote for the first preference candidate uh, uh, beforehand and then go for the second preference candidate. So BJP basically, this, these all developments have given fodder to the BJP. BJP also saying that there were three MLAs from the Shiv Sena who cross-voted for the BJP. It was evident after the results came out and there were nine independent MLAs who had individually given their support to the Shiv Sena. They also supported for the opposition camp, that is the BJP. So clearly trouble mounts, a probable trouble mounts for uh, the Mahavika Sagadi and particularly Shiv Sena and Matoshri. Absolutely, because remember the BJP which had only 106 votes uh, in the assembly polls has now polled to 133 votes, which is the addition of 27 votes from other parties and independent pay that have now paved way forward for their victory against the MBA, which is more certain for achieving their numbers. And now, as you pointed out, there were also cross votings uh, from the Shiv Sena.